Hello, this is Lori Sage. I'm going to be teaching you how to make a seamless texture and a sequin. I'm also going to be teaching you how to add jewels or buttons, how to make them. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is bring up an editor and I'm going to bring up my opacity and a sequin bit, a sequin um, texture that I googled. I'm going to take the image of this down to 128 width, copy it, add a layer, and paste. And then I'm going to take it to the side, zoom up, and scroll over. Move that exactly to the edge, making sure that it covers up the straps. And then I'm going to duplicate that image, transform, and flip it horizontally. Merge it down, duplicate that, transform, and flip it vertically. And slide it up. Make sure that it's in there perfectly seamless. Merge that together. Now I will colorize the image to whichever color I want. Enhance it, sharpen it up so that it's brighter. <coughs> and that is one way to make a sequin. And I'll just call that green dress and show it to you real fast. And there you have a sequin that you'd play with a little bit more. And I'll show you <coughs> the other way that you can make a sequin. Okay, you add a layer. On this layer I'm going to take my rectangle select and just select the dress part and add a color to it, whichever color I decide I want to make my dress. Now I will add a new layer on top of that. On this layer, I'm going to make the top layer white. Go to my gradients, make sure it's on normal. Go to the gradients, go foreground to transparent is one way. Or you could just color it in white, it doesn't matter. And make sure it's on linear. get it straight. Go to mode, dissolve, and dissolve it up as much as you want. Call this one pink dress. In this one you can see the sequins are thicker at the top than at the bottom. Or if you want them to be the same all the way down the fit, you just go make both of those colors white. The pink, make that one white. And you would just add white in the entire thing. Add another layer. And it was, well, that way you can do that. And then you can take the opacity down as much as you want to get it as sparkly as you want. And that would be <coughs> two separate ways of making a sequin. Okay, to make a button, I just have a transparent layer. I'm going to add a layer on the top. And this can be a button, a jewel, whatever. I'm just going to make a circle. 
get the color that I want, get white paint, bring my brush down some, I'm going to just add in some white and some curves, and then I'll go to my pink, get a darker pink, and just go around in a circle with your darker one. Go to Gaussian Blur. Blur that up some and you have a button. Now you can take that button, <coughs> copy it, go to your gradients, and this is just something else that you can do to it to make it stand out a bit more. I'm going to go to this rounded edge, keep it on normal. I'm going to make it radial, or you can do shaped, dimpled, whichever you want to do. On this, I'm um, going to go to colorize, bring the saturation down, and lighten it up a bit. <coughs> now I'm going to paste that red over the top of it, go to layer, scale layer, and I'm going to make it 56 width. I'm not going to worry about the height, and there that is on top of it. Perfectly centered. And then you have a little button. You can take the button and um, save it in PNG, and you'll always have it. You can recolor it. It's in layers if you want to keep the, um, if you wanted to be able to change that. I'm going to do this. I'm going to copy that top one, undo the paste, add another layer, paste that back in, center it, and now you have this in a different shading than this. And if this is too um, dark for you, you can always go back to your colors, colorize it, bring your saturation down, bring your lightness back up to whatever you want. Now it's on separate layers, and if you make it a PSD file, you can change both of these colors. You can make this gold, and you can make this a different color jewel or button. So that is one way to make a button. And another way to make a button is okay, I googled a button. On my layer box, I am going to right click it, add an alpha channel. Click this, collect by sol color, select by color tool, click the white, click delete on my computer, and now it's on a transparency. Now I can take this and just resize it. I can copy and paste it. You can save this as a PNG. You'll keep the transparency. If you end up with a button that has different size, different shapes in it, there's another way to cut them out. And let me find one real fast. this one. If you added your alpha channel and it didn't take all the white off, which this one will, but say that it didn't, so undo that. You can always take this free select tool, zoom it up, and you can outline it. And cut it out that way. And that's another way to cut things out that are shaped. And you would just go around the whole thing and cut it out. And when you get to the end, you would meet the first dot with the last dot, and that would cut that out. It would probably be, be easier to show you with the other button that's not quite um, so difficult to do, but you would just take this and cut it out like that. And then once you have it cut out, you just copy that <coughs> and put it on a um, transparent layer or just put it on your fit. And of course you'd want to resize it when you were done, but if you had a transparent layer you can paste it and then you can save that as a PNG and it will stay on the transparent layer. 
and then you just add them to your fits however you would like and you can recolor this one too the way that you would recolor this because it has that silver background is you would go to hue saturation instead of colorize And then you just change the hues to however you want, and you keep the silver. Sometimes the silver might look a little different. But that's a nice way to make a nice little shaped jewel. Now, you can also make your own. It probably won't be that neat, but cut a shape of however you want. And then when you get your shape, you just go to your gradient and make it shaped dimpled and this isn't perfect but you can see how it shapes it and it does give you some facets in there <clears throat> you can lighten that up and recolor it however uh, whichever color you'd like so you just lighten it up till you get the color you want you can deepen the saturation of it if you want and get it however you want and then when you, when you're done, <coughs> you could blur this a little bit too inside of there so that it doesn't have that line. And that would be two ways to make jewels or three. There's th different ways to make your jewels. And that would be the end of the sequin and jewel video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.